Hey guys, Fifreak59, as you can see by the task video guys, I have a squad builder for you guys today. And today we're going to be taking a look at a team with a very expensive player and actually, it's sort of a Liga BVA Brazilian mix and the expensive player, we'll just put him in right away. And at the striker position, we're going to be going for Neymar, fantastic player and by far one of my favourite players in this game just because he has 5 star skills and that 5 star weak foot also and he scored me some very nice goals as you will see in the highlights and um, I'd sort of say he's worth the coins if you do have like 1 million coins um, I don't really have 1 million coins I have about I think 550,000 coins but that's more than enough to you know make a decent team around him with um, and he was a very good player but if you only have 400k because that's how much I bought mine for he's not worth it as you can see I played 3 games and scored 5 goals which is a very good um, sort of ratio if you want to talk about that and he also got me an assist um, which is not too bad and I applied the hunter currency style to him which improves his um, pace and shooting so you know he's a good card all around and let's get into the normal squad building now at the goalkeeper we're going to be going with I accidentally just went for the centre back but we're going to go going for Diego Alves at goalkeeper a decent goalkeeper for 2.8k, a bit dodgy with his, you know, 72 handling, but um, nonetheless, he did the job very well and a very solid goalkeeper and worth the coins in my opinion. The right back for this team, we're going to be going with Mike on. I really want to try out this guy because if you look um, all around, his stats are very sort of balanced, um, you could say, because he has 79 pace, 79 defending and 77 heading. It's a bit of a shame that he got such a heavy downgrade from last year from an 84 to a 78. Um, but he's still a good player um, and a complete legend. And he scored some, you know, very fantastic goals like I've seen on YouTube and other sort of uh, websites like that. The centre back for the first one is going to be Naldo on the right hand side. Um, and I really enjoyed playing with this guy for 1.3k. Um, you know, good stats all around. I actually prefer this guy more than. Felipe Santana just for the simple fact that this guy is better sort of defensively because Felipe Santana is you know I'm not too sure what, what it is this year but Felipe Santana in my opinion he's not as good as Naldo um, but last year Felipe Santana was better and the center back the inform you've probably already seen him and it's going to be inform Miranda a very solid sort of center back you know good pace defending and very good heading actually at 85 um, and he can sort of sort of pass it a bit you could say to the midfielder with 60 pace 60 pace 60 passing the left back for this team another Atletico Madrid player and it's going to be Felipe Luiz um, I want to try out this guy instead of Marcelo because I've already used Marcelo and this guy on the most part was very good um, and I really enjoyed how you know he's quite tall I think actually yeah six foot that's quite tall for a left back the CDM of this team not the most expensive, but it's Casemiro, and EA yeah, have actually changed his picture, I do believe. Um, he used to have sort of an afro, but now it's just a spiky haircut. I actually had to convert him from a CM to a CDM, and those cards are very expensive, about 2,500 coins. But this guy was very good defensively with um, 80 heading and 75 defending. Not too good, you know, going forward. And he was very dodgy with, like, you know, shooting and stuff like that. And the CM on the... Um, right hand side for this team is going to be Hernanes, a very underrated player in my opinion because just look at those stats and it's absolutely fantastic. Most people haven't noticed that he has 5 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. Sabres, um, FIFA 13 and he actually scored me an insane goal in FIFA 13. Um, if you actually subscribed back then you probably would have seen it on my channel. Um, it had two goals actually, one which was Hernanes and the other one which was a Fernando Torres video. And the CM on the left hand side Another underrated player, um, and Koke, he actually did very well in the center mid role. I thought he might, you know, sort of get a bit lost because he's more of an attacking player because he's normally a cam as his default position, but on the most part, this guy did very well defensively and it was very surprising actually. He's not too short also at 5 foot 10, and I got him for 4.2k because he had to be converted from a cam to a center mid, and those cards go for a few thousand coins. The left wing for this team is going to be. David V, um, also from Atletico Madrid, and I really enjoyed this guy just for the simple fact that he's very good, um, sort of shooting wise. I think he has like a finesse trait or something like that, um, and his pace is very underrated actually. I'm not sure if it's his sprint speed, which is very bad, but off the mark, he's you know very good, um, sort of acceleration you could say. And the right wing for this team is going to be the one and only incredible Hulk. Um, and it would actually be pretty funny if you could get this guy in green in the game, but he's a very good player. 
I might actually try these inform which was in I think like two videos ago that I uploaded onto my channel and the inform was absolutely incredible and the normal card is also incredible um, I should probably stop saying that because he's so incredible yeah I said it again but anyway this guy is a very good player and I absolutely enjoyed playing with him um, it was a shame that he didn't actually score me a goal but he did sort of get very close um, with a few long shots and that pretty much wraps up this video guys I like we appreciate it and as always have a nice day and bye